Hey there, it's Josh Goldback here for Advanced Coupons and today I'm back with another tutorial to show you how to stop two coupons working with each other. So excluding them from, from actually being able to be used together. And I'm gonna show you two ways to do this. So the first way is uh, the WooCommerce core way and it's eh, it's not exactly ideal, but the, um, the second way is a little bit more ideal. It gives you a bit more control. So let's just jump straight into the tutorial here. I wanna show you um, the settings and I'm just gonna add the coupon here here. So this will be my first coupon and let's give it just a $10 discount, just something to use for the demonstration. And I'm going to the usage restriction tab. Now, if the first thing I'll show you is the WooCommerce way. And the way that they have it is that you can check this individual use only. So if you check this box here, um, it means that the coupon can't be used in conjunction with any other coupon. So you, you don't really get any control over which coupons it can and can't be used with. It's just a blanket, you know, this is the only coupon you can use in your cart if, if you're using this coupon. So the second way I wanna show you is with advanced coupons. So advanced coupons is a extension for WooCommerce, it adds all these neat little features down the side of your, um, your coupon edit screen. And it also adds a little thing in this usage restriction tab called exclude coupons. So what I'm going to do is I'll just publish this post, this um, sorry, this coupon. I'll publish this coupon here, and we'll make another one as well. So I'm going to actually just right-click on that, open a new tab, and I'm going to call this one second coupon because I'm really imaginative. So let's just give that a ten dollar discount as well. And I'm going to go to the usage restriction tab and in exclude coupons here, I get to actually just you know, specify any coupon that I like um, by name and I can make it exclude itself from being used with those other coupons. Now you can do this either um, you can do it mutually. So if you wanted to, you could put in second coupon in here on the first coupon one, or you can just put it on this, um, this second one, which means um, it applies more to the second coupon. But basically, if you don't want them to be working with each other or any other kinds of other coupons, um, you can you know, specify the specific names and it just, it'll figure itself out on the cart. So let me publish this and we'll go onto the front end of the site and we'll do a little demo. Alrighty, so here I am on the front end of the site. I'm just gonna add um, some products to my cart. I've got a few in there just for demonstration purposes. And let's go and add in a coupon. So first of all, I want to add in the first coupon. And you can see that the coupon code gets applied successfully. It's got a $10 discount. You can see the first coupon is the one that's being used. Now let's try and add second coupon, which is the one that we said shouldn't be allowed to be used with first coupon. So when you try to add that second coupon, the one that, um, that can't be applied, it gives you a nice message here and says, this coupon's not allowed to work in conjunction with the coupons currently applied on the cart. So in that way, you can um, have a little bit more control over which coupons like, get excluded from use with each other. And um, it's a good way to add a little bit more control over the usage restrictions of your coupons in WooCommerce.